Blinkster, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm hanging out with Heston Jordan. Oh, Heston, how you doing, bro? Doing good. Cool, cool. What's going down? Well, Heston's been wearing his equipment out. He's had a tail fin the boys been riding for a long time, for over six years, and it's time for a new one. So anyway, I brought him here to talk about a new board. He's been riding my boards uh, for 15 years since he was 13 years old. Wow. And he's pretty good at it. Yeah, I know. I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy. <laughs> so anyway, okay. No, I've been loving the boards. So you've had your tail for six years, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And it's... I rode it a lot. Yeah, you've ridden a lot. You've got your mileage out of it, right? Sure have. So anyway, it's time for either to, to update that one or to make the same exact board, which is very similar to what we make now with a few rocker adjustments, or you can go to a board, the Red Fin V, which you rode and helped develop before that, before the tail fin even. Or was it after? It was, it was before the tail fin. Yeah, right before the tail yeah, fin. Right before. So let's look at both boards. Let's check them out. Let's see. Yeah. This is a tail, a tail fin like you were riding, like that's, your board is now. That's like what I was Yeah, saying. this one has a little few changes, subtle from what you had before, because this has a little less entry rocker. I just like the nose though. Yeah. I like that wider kind of platform yeah. up there. Yeah. And the, what happens is the rocker there, it's a three and a half inch rocker in the nose. It's flatter where yours is like three and three quarter, you know, om almost four, a little more nose rocker. Mm -hmm. And then this, where yours has like four and a half inches of tail rocker, this is more exaggerated to a five inch tail rocker. Mm. So anyway, we got that one to look at. Yeah. And you can feel the rails. They're, no, this the rails really like haven't changed. And uh, this is a nine ten. You're riding a ten foot. Yeah. So that's that's one we could either we one. can make another one like that one. You know, yeah. whatever you want. And, and then <clears throat> this is the other board you rode. Oh yeah, the red fin, huh? Red fin V. I do remember this one too. Yeah, for sure. These ones are great. This this board stands alone. This, it stands this was itself. the transitioning board for me. As oh, soon as I got board. into this board, I was like, whoa. Yeah. I remember this board a lot, yeah. It's a highly technical board. I do, yeah, this is gonna be... Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, definitely worth that's trying. It's pretty crazy how it yeah. stands there by itself. What? <laughs> oh yeah, the, see that's where that pin plays. I know hands, man. I, I, can do, I can do magic. <laughs> that's the way that. <laughs> it's just the way the, tail, like the tail's set up to where it's very close to the tail on Redfin V. It's only three inches from the back of the board. And the design of the fins, where it sits, it sits like six. Anyway, three when this inches, thing rides, yeah. yeah. When this thing rides, that tail's hooked up in there like that, mm -hmm. in a way. And it channels the water through the concave, you know? So we've got had good results. I mean, yeah. Josh and Ben wrote them, you wrote them. Mm -hmm. And then we transitioned into the tail fin, which you helped develop.